Hello and welcome to this second video on linear programming capital budgeting models. Uh, we're going to jump right into this example. Example 2. The best investment company must determine how much debt and investment it needs to take on in the next year. Each dollar invested reduces the net present value of the company by 5 cents. So we got that right there. 5 cents. And each dollar of debt increases the net present value of the company by 50 cents. The best investment company can invest $500,000. Debt can at most be 40% of investments, and the company has $300,000 currently available. All investments are made with current cash or borrowed money. How does the best investment company maximize net present value? So, of course, we're going to start with our objective function. This, of course, will be to maximize. You can read that in that last sentence, maximize our net present value. I'm going to set that equal to Z, and we'll define Z after we define our decision variables. So the way to think about this one is that there are two ways to invest. Invest two ways, cash or with borrowed. Cash is available. and borrowed will become debt. So we need to define this in our decision variables. X, we will define as the investments made with cash available. And we're gonna define Y as the investments made with borrowed money. This can now go back into our Z, our uh, maximize function. So we know that the each dollar invested right up here, I'll highlight it again, each dollar invested reduces the net present value by five cents. In each, um, dollar of debt increases the net present value of the company by 50 cents. So we'll have at 50 cents of each dollar multiplied by the number of dollars invested with debt subtracted by 5 cents, 0 0.05 times the number of investments made with the cash available. That's going to define your objective function. And now let's go through and let's do our constraints. So we have to have our subject two. And let's look at our first constraint. Uh, we'll go with cash available. This constraint is clearly here. We only have $300,000 available. It's going to be X is less than or equal to 300000 be very careful because you can see that it can invest $500,000, but you can't write that for for X because that's $500,000 total available. You can borrow 200000 but the amount of cash you have will always be 300000 So be careful when setting up your uh, constraints. Now we need to define our Y, and that always has to be less than. This will be our debt ratio. Let me write that in there. That's, of course, a 40% debt ratio. Y must always be less than 40%, 0 0.4, of your total investments made. 0 0.4 times X. And then the total amount currently available to invest is right here. It's 500000 So your X plus your Y has to be less than or equal to 500,000. So that's our total investments constraint. Then of course we need our non-negativity. Which you need for every single linear model. So x comma y must be greater than or equal to zero. This will be your 
capital budgeting model. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you look forward to more videos.